Greetings Lunarians and Brigandine fans. I am your host, Valko Sonari, back with Brigandine, The Legend of Inertia. This is the Republic of Gaimul playthrough. We are at the very end. We're going to do the final, the semi-final uh, fight today and maybe put in the final boss battle and then put the alternate ending on the next episode. But uh, we'll see how time looks after I'm done with the uh, Zawar Beast. But anyways, it's been a while since I've seen you guys. I'm definitely very sorry about the last week. It's been extremely busy for your boy. Business has picked up, which is good. But uh, in the same process, it's been hard for me to find some chill time and, you know, get all this preparation work done on the uh, post game. But anyway, I will not regale you with that tale, just so you know, um, that's what's been going on. So we are ready for the final, again, the semi-final battle uh, against the Zawar Beast here. Our team that's going to be going up against that is, um, who is it again? <laughs> who did I pick? I picked, uh, wait, 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 no, no. They're in the quest menu, they're in the quest menu. Um... You know what? Just, 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 just do this. Just do this. We'll see it right here, anyways. There it is. Okay, <laughs> we're putting Eliza, Darian, and also Sylvie in there. As you can tell, I have a lot of range stuff going on here because I do not want the Zawar Beast to counterattack me so much. Because if he does, he gains his MP back and does his Whirly Trolley attack and all that crap. So I don't want him spamming that. Only once is once is enough. So I don't need it a second time. Anyway, let's get in there and do it justice, man. How's everybody doing? Good morning. Good morning to everybody. Hopefully, everybody is doing well. And is excited for the ending of this playthrough and ready for the final playthrough coming up very soon on Norzelio Kingdom. But before that, of course, we do have the Q&A video. So once again, if you have not left me a question yet for the Q&A video, please leave it in the comment section below. And please do tell me it is for said video so I remember. But uh, I will be gathering those after this playthrough is done. And that will be the next video after the playthrough is complete. So uh, do, 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 just go in order. Yes, yeah, this is fine. So, boom. All right, I'm ready. I'm ready. It's a new day, a new dawn. Oh, that's right, the Zora Beast is stupid loud, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Always very, very scary every time we see it. And it's so weird to see, like, um, the left head's uh, eyeballs is like a screw and a nail. It's very strange. Hell yeah, let's do it. He's gonna be loud. He's gonna be loud. Is he taking a turn? God, he's still very loud. You guys don't hear it as loud as I do, uh, clearly, but I mean, most of you have played this battle already and know how loud that damn thing is. It's kind of ridiculous, so. Anyways, we're right here, so we're just going to go ham. Um, I would like to try to focus down the Sorceress with Sylvie's unit, but uh, we'll have to make do with this first. I do want the um, the forest tile, though, so our order. So she's going in front, um, or after Sylvie, which is good. So I mean, they can stay back here and uh, pelt the uh, Dark Knight a little bit. He won't take a ton of damage, but and he may block some of this stuff. But. Very good. Um, I need to check movement really quick on the dragon. That's good. This is the Men of Miracle. We're all geared out with uh, a few monsters. Definitely the leaders are all good. on. Not every single monster is geared out. Um, it just took so long to get gear for everybody. So I decided to you know, cut it a little bit short uh, this time around. But I shouldn't need it too much. All right. Keep that up right there. They can't heal, which is great. Take the forest tiles. Just hit something. We won't bother killing these monsters if we can help it, so... Now that I'm looking at it, I think... I don't think I want to, um... Take that front spot with the dragon right here. I want to let him come out. So, if that's the case... Then we can surround him a little bit better. So... The sorceress definitely needs to come more forward so I can pelt her with arrows. So, we'll see how that goes. Okay. This is just random. I hope it doesn't heal that thing. <laughs> he might actually. He might heal. We'll see. Okay. Um, let's see. You can get to the dragon. It's whatever. Um, you can be 
I need I need someone to cover Sylvie, obviously. Um, yeah, I need you to be here. But you might get cursed, actually. Huh. That's kind of a conundrum, isn't it? Hang on. I could do a uh, react spell, actually, and also the uh, inspiration tactic. Huh. That could be a thing. Hold on. What is the uh, percentage here? 82, it's not bad. I think I might take a chance on this one, so. Um, skill. Where is it? Inspiration, right here. So, boom. React it. Get in there, attack once, maybe do the ultimate attack, or do the, uh, do the uh, ground fire attack. The breath attack. Depends. It depends. Depends on if he hits this first hit. But I think the ultimate attack is more accurate, right? Yeah. We can pop a halo, can't we? Will the Archangels get halo? No, for whatever reason. Still makes no sense. <laughs> Let's see. That didn't up the attack by much. Definitely helped out the defense, but... We do have attack up, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It didn't do a crazy amount, but, you know, it is a Dark Knight, I suppose. Alright, more accurate right here. 91. Oof. Goodness! I love that attack. It's so powerful, man. Very cool. Alright, we do have to be careful, though, so... I think I can get this with the React spell, too. And a Divine Ray. Yep, Knight is gone. Knight is gone. How about that? <laughs> Gremlins for the win, man. Hell yes. Go. Let's go. Bam. 2.53. Bye. That's how you do it. Okay. Took a little damage on the dragon, but we're okay, so... Killing them early is very, very important because you don't want them to be, to be on your ass while the Zawar beast is heading towards you. You don't want that. There you go. There you go. Come forward. Come to me. Come to me. I need to start forming a wall over here. So, Darian, that's your job. Let's see. The beast is going next. Right here is perfect. Right here is perfect, because we're going to need that for the area attack he's going to pop off. God, it's so loud. Attack and MP regen up. Wait, what? I've never seen him use that. I don't think I have. I don't recall that at all. Hold on. Attack and MP regen up. Doubles MP recovery. Lovely. I've never seen that before. Have you guys seen this before? <laughs> I know you can do this in a challenge mode, but like... I have never seen him pop that off before. I'm willing to bet money. I'll probably lose that bet. But <laughs> regardless, I do not recall that. <laughs> Okay. Anyways, uh, we're in range of Giga Impact, which is great. Um, honestly, I might put Sylvia in range and just attack with the, uh, the Centaurs. Depends on the accuracy here. We should have high accuracy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. There we go. There we go. We just gotta be lucky on over here with the, uh, I-90s. Oof, it's low. Okay. Let's keep getting lucky here. I can't make use of the forest the entire time, so... What do we got? 69% again. Yep. Let me down this time. Okay. I want to save Sylvie here. Come on now. Damn! Okay. That's fine. I'm going to have to use her. I mean, I can use the Phoenix, but I want to position the Phoenix. 
Yeah, I'll use I'll use Sylvie. So there we go. It's okay. All right, they're gone. Hmm. I still need to form that wall. Eliza's unit is next. This phoenix needs to be where? Mm. Hang on, let me change the trajectory here. So. I don't know where he's going to go because there's several places. If he goes to the left, then we're kind of in trouble on the right side. I want him to come in range of curse, obviously. So, I wonder if I can manipulate him over this way. I'm not sure. We're going to try. We're going to try to pull him over to the right. If he sees Eliza right here, then he might try to go for her. So, let me see his range real quick. Okay. He can reach her, which is not a big deal. Um, I need him to come in range. And if he hits that area right there, I can just heal voice it, so. Hmm. Yeah. Bring him this way. We also have area heal too, right here. Hang on. Yep. Okay, we should be fine. We have three phoenixes on our team. Um, we're okay. I will pop an iron ore though. <laughs> Stay exactly where you are. We're fine right there. That's fine. Lost an imp. Oh god. Oh god. Wow, I don't remember this guy being this powerful. He didn't use that ability, I swear, because he's never done that much damage with his Whirly Twirly attack. He's never done that much damage. Man. 511 damage to the Imp. I mean, normally he's not even able to kill an Imp with his... Uh, he's never killed one of my Imps in one shot. That is the first time he's used that. Oh, God. Now he's in range of my phoenixes. <laughs> oh, man. I'm going to have to depend on area heal, which is fine. Just... Ah. Hang on. I can pop it first because he hasn't taken damage yet, so... We can heal the dra both dragons here. You suck. Uh, or do we focus down magic attacks? Because the, the, the area heal from the angel is going to be pretty potent. Yeah. That'll hit every target. But it won't hit the uh, enemies. Yeah, okay. Yeah, let's focus down magic attacks. This is the strategy here. So, it's minuscule damage, obviously, but... I need to hit him from range all the time. All the time. No counterattacks. <laughs> nice. Ooh, a crit! Take that! Little bastard. Fucking murdered my demon. <laughs> I'm very salty about that. Ooh. Ooh, that's some big damage taken away, too. Big, big damage. But he put himself in a bad position, at least, so... A really bad position, actually. Greedy on killing that demon. That's what'll get you, man. Greed'll get you in the end. So. 
What are we looking like? 15 minutes. Not bad. Not bad. All right. Bust this out. <laughs> so loud. Oh, not close enough. Whoops. Whoops, whoops, whoops. I had a feeling I didn't go close enough. Come on. He's a tangy boy, but he's not getting his MP back. Oof. Okay, we're about to hit him hard right here. Uh, let's see. React. Um... I need to do that area heal for sure. I'm not taking any counter damage, so I can afford to do it now. Yep. Ooh boy, that one hurt, man. That buff that he put on himself. That was crazy. 226. I could react to that. I can't. Crap. You're 6 MP away from that? Are you serious? I guess we're doing a thunder. Keep hitting him. can't heal, so we're gonna make sure he doesn't get his, uh, yeah, see, look at that. He's still at 30, so we're fine. We're fine. Um, that's the only thing right there, is the dragon needing to attack, which is fine, of course, but I'm gonna put you right there, I think. Wait. Um, no. Yeah, I need to put you right here, because he's gonna hit the angel. Um, 299. Nice crit! Thank you! Okay, we have a curse on him right here. One ninety. <clears throat> this thing is no joke, man. I remember I throttled this guy on my Gustava playthrough, but every playthrough after that's been pretty, uh, like intermediate to advanced for whatever reason. Got to be careful. We're still okay. Nice. I remember he can attack twice. I'm not about to hit him physically more than I have to. Good thing they can't counterattack um, adjacent magic spells. That would suck. Yep. Mm-hmm. That's fine. Kill it. I don't care. That's pretty sad, isn't it? <laughs> Using both of his actions to kill an imp. It's pretty sad. I'll take that all day. You, you go right ahead. That's fine. I don't care about these wolves. Not gonna do much. Yes, let's hurry. Let's hurry. There we go. Uh, Giga Shot. We have another one, don't we? Let's see. He's close to being under a thousand. Waiting for that HP to show here, yo. Oop. We get it? Yep, there it is. He's below a thousand. Let's go. This is the last round. See some crits here, man. Be nice. <laughs> oh, 
All right, we got him. We got him. We got him. Oops. Crit. Oh man, I was hoping so because I have the uh, the deadly band on her too. So, I'm not sure what her crit chance is. I I, need, I didn't check that before I uh, hit with her. So. Hold up, can I get the killing blow here? The flare. Ah, go. Yeah, go. You're dead. Woo! Piece of cake. We're done. I'll get my art demon back. But... Or my Lilith, should I say. So, Even though I don't even know if I'm going to use her for the last uh, battle. I have some plans for the last battle, so you'll see that when that happens, which... Will be this episode for sure. We're, we're putting that in. So. Whoops. Okay. We're going to witness some scenes here, obviously. And then attack Death Valley here very shortly. Show me that screen. There we go. All right. Lost two imps and a Lilith. <clears throat> Not bad. Not bad at all. Zoar's Tears. I was able to find a couple of those, actually, on my uh, preparation phase. Which always takes forever. So let's get through this. We're definitely bringing Miss Kate to the final fight with her uh, army of dogs. That's happening for sure. So, I don't know what my choice is going to be, mind you, but she's coming regardless. All right, let's set this up. So, who's coming to the final fight? We're definitely bringing Eliza, obviously. Um, I need to rearrange a few things here before I get in there, so I'll cut the feed there. But, it's going to be Eliza, possibly Kane, or maybe Darian. And then also Kate is coming with us as well, so... Need to get her over here. Um, I thought I moved her over here. Whoops. I'll get her over here in a sec, but uh, she's going to come in there with the army of Fenrir's, which is going to be really, really fun. So that's the idea. So it's going to be Eliza, Kate, and Darian, and or uh, Kane. So we will see what happens. All right, give me a moment, and I will be right back with you with the full team compiled. All right, fam, there is the final team right there. We have Eliza, Darian, and Kate. The monster composition looks really, really good. I think we're going to stomp this, to be honest, but we'll we'll see what happens. So um, this is the organization phase. Let's pass this, of course, set up the attack, and then we're into the final battle. So let me know what you think I'm going to pick in the comment section below before we see this decision here. So very curious what you guys think I'll pick. And by the end of the video, you can definitely let me know what you picked as well. So leave that below, too. So um, let's see. Done. It's time. It's time. Hahanaru Daichi Luna Jia. So no sebete was chuni or sameta loon no kishio. Korega. お前たちがルーンの神と崇めた者の真の姿よ。お前たちは今こそ立ち止まり。こ、これが。おお、恐ろしいよ。エルザ様。神が追い借り出すぞ。オロラ、エンドレンを沈まらせなさい。確かにル
人間たちはこの強大な力の真実を見極める時が来たのだこのオーロラと共に神と戦えさもなくば神と共にこのオーロラと戦うのだうん OK <笑>ーーーのの、okay. の王となる者の運命は決まっていたのじゃ Okay, so based on that dialogue, like, that could go either way. However,、um, the sudden realization of seeing the rune god in this form or whatever and seeing his wrath and hearing Aurora's dialogue seemed to have persuaded more so in favor of herself. So I didn't hear really any, you know,、uh, convictions against the rune god whatsoever. So. I think what we're going to be doing is confronting the Rune God. Yeah, we're going to confront the Rune God. <laughs> Not much of an explanation there, just based on the dialogue alone, we didn't have any type of hostility towards the Rune God itself, or hostility towards Aurora during this time. In fact, Eliza begged for her help, to be honest, to say, Go call on Dorian, we need him. <laughs> このルーナジアに不要だというのルーナジアを支配し女王よそなたにはもうマナの力を手にし There's a gravit coming up I'm gonna wanna get here 戦ではないかマナの力がある限りこの大陸には血が流れ続けることになる違うかそそんなもしそうだとしたらそんなことが許されていいはずがない違うかエルザ大統領エラザグラスのマナストーンタイトルにレンチトゥーフォンドブリガンディーンおおエルザ様な何をなさるおつもりでわかったわかったあなたの言う通りだわ神よ今こそ我ら人間はマナストーンを外した我らのブリガンダインはでもそれでも我らは、うん、にエルサお姉ちゃんそれが今は亡き父アーデン・ウザーラが私に教えてくれたガイムールの誇り That's a really cool graphic, man. So, is that what he taught you? Okay, maybe I chose right then. She flung the mana stone into the sky, and it was swallowed by the vortex in a blinding flash. An ear splitting roar echoed from the sky, as if to indicate the wrath of God. ルーナジアの女王よオーロラ一緒に戦ってくれるわねこのガイムールの誇りい,いえルーナジアに暮らす人間たちふん足手まといにならないでよグズグズしてるとエンドレアンに弾き飛ばされるよ行くわよルーンの神Let's do it, man. I'm ready. It seemed like the right decision. But honestly, this, this one, like, this one teeters on the balance, like, very closely for me,、uh, among, like, compared to all the other playthroughs so far. All the other playthroughs have been pretty obvious to me. This one, not so much. <laughs> so, I'm, I'm very interested to see the、uh, ultimate ending after this, so, which will be next episode. That's tomorrow. So, all right. Let's go, Rune God. I'm ready. Flex it out. Let's have a good final battle. There's no need for cuts or marching because we're right here, anyways. My green screen is bugging. There we go. どういうこと
It's kind of strange too, because um, I thought that they would. Um, hang on. I thought that they would have like a scene um, depicting like the statue of Mohana Karadine, but uh, they didn't do anything with that. So it was just the generic scene where he came down and took control of the statue. So. That's also very loud. Let's do it. Let's march, fam. Final battle. Here we go. I'm ready to close this out for sure, man. Then we're on to North Zalio Kingdom after this. Excited. I'm excited to play Grotos, man. Grotos has become one of my favorites over the course of time, even though I haven't played a playthrough with him yet. <laughs> I've definitely dabbled in like challenge mode and stuff um, off screen, but I've never completed a challenge mode or anywhere near completion, should I say. So the first challenge mode will be um, on YouTube, obviously, but will be um, basically my first impressions of it all the way through com to completion. So anyways, we're not here to talk about that. Let's see. There's no protection spells, but that's okay. Well, no, no, I wanted to confirm that. Whoops. Get up there. Get up there. Show them your power. Nah, let's go straight in front. Straight in front. Okay, the danger zone is right there. So we can just move, mosey on along this line. Perfect. Be there. Awesome. All right, movement is looking glorious. Look how far we can go, man. Pretty nice, pretty nice. I don't think I've ever done this battle on auto battle before. I wonder if they are stupid enough to like, if the AI is stupid enough to go inside the warning area, I would assume not, but is it possible? What, what, is it possible that that can happen? So if you guys have put this battle on auto before and tested that, I would like to know that um, if they've gone into the danger zone. That's a lot of movement. What's your movement? Nine. Damn. I really geared you out, didn't I? Okay. I like that we're going on a row here. This is nice. Yeah, Darian's going to be uh, dragging his feet a little bit here, so that's fine. He'll get there. Okay. Mm-hmm. I love that arrow animation, man. Really, really cool. Here comes Stella. These idols won't last long. Yep. A silence. Interesting. Okay. Luckily, that doesn't matter. It'll be funny. You know what I should do one time is to, uh, nice Aurora, is to take some nightmares, uh, or champions and knock them into the, uh, the, uh, the danger zone. That would be hilarious because they would just instantly die. So, in fact, that would be a cool challenge, uh, for people. If, if you're of the challenge type, I challenge you to take nightmares and champions or whatever monks whatever you got into this fight knock all of the rune knights or the rune knight idols into the danger zone before it goes off and let it kill them in one fell swoop all of them all of them so it's already impressive if you can do just one but if you can do all five 
That would be insane to see, and you better record it too if you do so. I want to see that, or at least a screenshot. Somebody do this. I, I want to see that so bad. <laughs> nice. Ugh, man, that scream is awful. Can't charm me. Oh, you can! No way! She got rid of the friggin' me. That's right. Oh, no! <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, my God. <gasps> Fam, I can't cure it. I can't cure that. I want to start this over, but I'm not going to. Oh my goodness. That's really upsetting. That, you have that seven star cutlass, obviously. No, you don't. Wait a minute. There's nothing that says that she can charm me. She can just charm me by default? What is this? She doesn't have anything that, that can charm me. I guess Rudo has the si so they e each idol has a status effect, I guess, because Rudo silenced the dragon. I bet he didn't have any equipment that could do that. What the heck, man? This is crazy. This is crazy. I can't cure that. That better dissipate like really quickly. If it doesn't, then that's gonna, like, get me killed in this fight. <laughs> that's gonna get me killed. Oh, wow. Wow, wow. I can't believe it. I gotta keep that in there just, just, for, just for kicks. But it's Eliza, though. <laughs> I don't want him to be charmed. <laughs> I can't get rid of that. Ugh. Should have put on a mineral talisman. Something. This is this is awful. This is so bad. <laughs> I am I am beside myself right now, dude. This is nuts. I didn't know she could do that. Hmm. I'm very salty right now. Very. <laughs> Stella. Why? I don't know how long she's going to be charmed for, man. She could be charmed for the rest of the fight. This could be... Oh, man. I hate that because it's so uneventful to me. Oh, my God. I don't like this. This sucks. Got, got, got to deal with it, man. No resets here. No resets. Oy. <laughs> She's gonna like exit blast somebody or whatever. I don't know. She's probably gonna do her uh, area attack actually. Yep. Man. They really dropped the ball not giving the Archangel or the uh, the Seraph cure and Halo. Really dropped the ball there. Ah. 
Nice crit. Okay, it's time to start hitting them. Oh man, I'm not gonna get to attack with Eliza like the whole fight. That's really bad. Well, it only took five playthroughs to figure it out. <laughs> she can charm you. So what can all the idols do? Rudo can silence. Uh, Stella can charm. What can Talia, Rubino, and... God, that is loud. What can Rubino, uh, Talia, and... Um, who am I missing? Eliza do. For status effects. This is bullshit. Did it wear off? Oh! Oh, be still my heart. She lives. <laughs> she lives. She woke up. Oh. Oh, my queen. Thank you. My goodness, you had me scared there. Okay. Alright, we're in it. We're in it. This guy's gonna get hit hard on this fight, man. Very hard. Uh, her biggest attack is what? Crimson Rondo? That's the area attack, though. So, Valkyrie Drive is the biggest um, physical attack. Exoblast is the most damage. So we're gonna do Exoblast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We gotta stay out of that range, though. Um, yeah, we can go up here. This is fine. So, that way we can do Divine Ray, all that good stuff, so. Oh my god. <clears throat> Honestly, I might do an area heal. Yeah. Whew, it was scary. Scary stuff. Sure. I'll send a healer over that way. I can't go in there. Ugh. Not enough movement there. Okay. Let's we'll start hitting. We've got crit chance here. I crit chance with Kate, so... And I know for a fact we can crit these bosses now. I did that last playthrough. Like so. Very cool. All we need is one little pocket open for these dogs and Kate. And we're good. Nice, nice. Nice crit. Oh man, the damage on that one. I think this one has a um, deadly band on. Wow, crit after crit. Dude, these dogs are going ham today. I love it. I love the Fenrir strategy, man. The hitting the ways is amazing. It's it's still amazing. I did it way back in the day, obviously, but so cool to use it again and again and again. All right, stay out of that zone. Um, Darian, get your ass up here. Let's see, divine ray for sure. We are hitting this guy hard, man. Crazy good. Two oh eight with a centaur. Yeah. Excellent. Put yourself in position for the uh, ultimate attack later on. Time for him to shoot. Help me out here a bit. I need a heal voice. Mm. 
That's not gonna matter. You figure he would have a bigger heal though for himself. I would expect like at least a thousand HP. Yeah, that's 1200 right there. Insane. He's on the move! <clears throat> nice, nice. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure if I can get him down for the killing blow here, but I'm going to try. Ultimate Flare, 351. That is a ton of damage, man. Oof. One of the best animations in the game, by far. Now we still don't have him down to a thousand yet, so... Maybe Darien will get this final, uh, the final blow. He's dead this round, though, for sure. For sure, he's dead. Hang on. How to bring in the red dragons, man. For glory. Very fitting, right? What do we got? 754. Almost. What's the Exoblast look like? 212, okay. Yeah. Looks like Kate's gonna get it. Which is fine. I'm totally cool with it. Oh, that feels better. <clears throat> what do we got? 542. Get a couple hits in here, and then Kate should be enough. You speak the truth, my lady. Oops. Nice crit again. My goodness. Kate's got it. Let's go. Hang on, can she reach the... Uh... No, she can't. Okay, never mind. Yep, get up in there. Get up in there. I wish I could have I could pull off that uh, that big attack so you could zip around and do the final blow like that, but whatever. The Republic of Gaimol playthrough is complete. Bam! Woo! Feels good, man. Feels really good. Let's witness this well deserved ending, shall we? What'd you guys pick for your choice at the very end of this one if you've played Guy Mole before? Let me know your thoughts on the playthrough, all that good stuff, so. そして在所軍。あの方たちは罠の力を得て誇りを持ってそれぞれの国々を導かれた。でももしかしたら彼らはいつもルーンの神によって戦いへと追いやられていたのかもしれない。もしかしたら彼らはある時自分を突き動かす神に耐えられないと心の底で嘆いたかもしれないでもやはりそれはその時私たち人間にとって必要な試練だったのだ今私たちは そうした神からの縛りを解かれようやく歩き出す一歩一歩また一歩と今度は神に与えられたのではなく自分たちで選んだ誇り高き道を
らかに眠りたまえ我らの誇り高きルーンの騎士たち神は太古の昔から聖なる大地ルーナジアに惜しみなくマナのシャワーを降り注いできた人間という生き物がマナの力で知力を磨き繁栄に努めることを願ってな人間たちの中でも特にマナの力を浴びた者はやがてグループを率いるようになり種族を形成し国を作るようになったわけじゃだがのうマナの人間に与える力は果てることがない人間たちはやがてマナの力に突き動かされるように好むと好まざるとにかかわらずさらなる高みを目指すことになったそれは他の民族他の国家を侵略し征服するという野望に突き進むことでもあったのじゃ果たしてそれがルーンの神の意図したものであったかそれとも神の意志とは離れて人間が神の力に乗じて暴走した結果であったかその真実を語れる者はいないだが今大陸統一を果たした王がその歩みを振り返ってみればそれはまごうことなく人間が人間の力で選び取った道でありそしてルーナジアの未来へと続く道だったのじゃ。There it is, fam. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. The playthrough is complete. Thank you ever so much for joining me for that one right there. That was the fifth one out of the sixth. The sixth one is going to be coming up very soon, but not until after I、uh, release the Q&A video. My very first one, by the way, from my community, which is very strange. I thought I would do that a long time ago, but never really popped into my head until we started getting a nice following on the Brigandine playthrough. So, I mean, yeah. Again, if you haven't asked me a question yet, please leave that in the comment section below or leave it on the first video of this playthrough in particular. Please let me know it is for said video and I'll be sure to feature your question inside that video. So、uh, look out for that this week. I'll be getting that done very, very、uh, shortly after the alternate ending is done, which is tomorrow. So stay tuned for that for sure. But、uh, yeah, my thoughts on the playthrough w a s really, really good. I like the story a lot.、Um, The development of the characters was a little bit less so than the other、uh, playthroughs, I,、uh, in my opinion. It seems because they're, they're kind of already established, right? Within the whole、um, major conflict of Renersia, where this big nation of Gai Mul and the big nation of Minas Silesia started the whole war, and you know, they don't have too much to develop from that because they've already kind of developed, right?、Uh, the surrounding countries, in my opinion, are a lot more interesting just because you see them trying to.、Um, Uh, deal with all of the、uh, with the main conflict that is surrounding them, right? Or that's in the center of the continent. So, them being affected by it and everything like that. So, while also trying to hold up their ordeals and come up with their own、um, motives for conquest and stuff. So, it's pretty interesting on the other countries. But this playthrough was fun. I liked the diversity of characters most of all, just because、uh, you had a lot to play around with with so many knights. But they divvied it up. In very, very nice ways where you had access to pretty much everything from the start. So,、um, and you didn't really need to quest for knights very early either. Like, every other playthrough, well, not every other playthrough, Mana Silesia for sure. You have got to get knights very soon. But in this one, in Gaimo, you have more of an easy way out of it.、Um, and they even said on their Twitter page that this playthrough would be a, an intermediate playthrough.、Um, the expert playthrough is Mana Silesia. 
Um, and also, I would say Gustava is an uh, advanced playthrough as well. But anyways, uh, I'm going to let the credits roll right there. I'm going to pop up screen until that is done, and we will say our goodbyes once we have the uh, the monster roll screen that comes up or whatever, the, the night uh, army screen or whatever. So I will get back to you as soon as the credits are done rolling. Stay tuned. And there it is. All right, fam. Let me know what you thought of the playthrough in the comment section below. I definitely want to know your thoughts. And if you've already played this playthrough, let me know your thoughts on that as well. What did you think of the characters and everything like that? Um, how did your experience go? What was your team for the final battle? All that good stuff. You know what I mean? So indulge me. Write a paragraph down below if you want to. So anyways, if you have not joined the Brigandine Discord or checked out any of the other Brigandine resources, please check the description below. We would love to have you in those communities if you are a fan of the game or series. And also if you've played the old games as well, we have plenty of people in there from the old games. I would say the majority of people that are in my Discord currently are um, of the uh, old games, actually, or coming from the old games back in 1999, I believe, right? Yeah, something like that. Or 98 and then 2000, I think, it was the green edition, but... Regardless, uh, please stay tuned for the alternate ending tomorrow morning, and also very shortly after that, during this week, probably during the weekend, I will get the Q&A video done and released by that time. And I cannot wait to answer your questions. I'm very excited for that. It'll be my first one. And if we do enjoy stuff like that, please let me know in the comment section below on that particular video if you want me to do more of that stuff. I'm more than happy to do so. So. Anyways, keep up to date with uh, Challenge Mode coming up. It's going to be right after the Nozalo Kingdom playthrough once I get that done. And I have some special plans for that. I'll let you guys know probably in the Q&A video. Um, but actually, you know what? I'll just say it now. So with the Challenge Mode, my plan is to do live streams of the Challenge Mode. I'm going to do live streams every single morning on uh, about 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'll let everybody know what the spiel is on that whole thing inside the discord server so please if you want to keep up to date with the challenge mode um criteria that i'm going to be putting forth for the live stream on youtube then join the discord and make sure that you uh are sub a subscriber of the channel all that good stuff and we'll get you up to date on what i'm going to do with that so anyways that's the idea for the challenge mode i can't wait to get into that anyways i am your host Valkusonari, and i will see you on the battlefield rune knights peace bye